Okay, so pictured here is the Temu 2 terabyte USB stick. Um, it has a very good rugged design, metallic finish. Now, in all fairness, the web page for this indicated that this particular one was a USB 2.0 device. I just didn't appreciate what that would really mean until I dug into it. But when it arrived, it said USB 3.0, so I was elated. I thought, fantastic. Less than $17, two terabytes of storage. That's dirt cheap. And I'll be able to do lots of good backing up on this. This could be have a wide range of use. But no, no, it did not. Uh, I'm going to be returning this. And I'm going to be returning it because it is actually a USB 2.0 device. And I did not appreciate what that meant. And I will show you what that means momentarily in, in a practical sense. But this one on the benchmarking I did steadily got 15 megabyte per second writes and 35 megabyte per second reads you might be tempted to say that's not too bad and if this were a 16 gigabyte stick yeah that's not too bad you're gonna but when you're talking two terabytes you're gonna expect something out of that uh, large storage capacity and that's where you see this fall flat on its face let's just get right into it okay so here um, you see on my desktop I have archive dash two that is my um, five terabyte uh, Seagate drive and it's formatted for the Apple APFS file system. I use it exclusively in my Apple ecosystem. Now here is the uh, the Temu 2 terabyte. It initially mounted as unnamed I think and I changed it to Temu 2TB for easy identification and you can see that it has uh, 2.19 terabytes um, of storage on it it out of the box is formatted EXFAT, but if you look at it, uh, and I'm going to open up uh, the Temu drive. Now I created a drive on it called Seagate One Touch Five Terabyte, because if you notice earlier, and I'll, I can reshow it if you if you missed it, I've got nearly two terabytes worth of data on this Seagate drive. So what I figured I would do is simply copy that, all that data, drag and drop it um, into that one folder and let me see how how this is going to perform. But here you can see dropping over, if you get a large stick with memory like that, you're intending to use it. Either you're going to be doing a backup, a full level one backup of some system, uh, you might be doing a clone uh, of a drive uh, and the initial estimate for this one started off at four days it's improved to three days and it's gonna improve to two days and hold steady at about two days the point I'm getting at is USB 2.0 makes absolutely no sense on large capacity drives. It, it, the writes are too slow to make it of any practical use.